and welcome to Tea Time with Tony. Today's tea is honey chamomile. So I'd encourage you to grab a, a cup of tea and your Bible, and we'll be sharing in just a little bit. Thank you so much uh, for those that sent some videos for your April Fool's pranks and jokes. Uh, here's a picture from Trace. He said that he switched the tops of the shampoo and the conditioner. Uh, so thank you, Trace, for sending that in. And then his sister, Chris, I think, got revenge. Here's a picture of her uh, getting him with uh, some ice cream. Very good. And uh, here is uh, some pictures sent by JT and Eddie. I think they worked on some of their Legos yesterday, so enjoy these. Today is also Throwback Thursday, so we've got a couple of pictures here to show you. I hope you can reminisce and remember these fun experiences you had and look forward to when we get back together again and get to, to do some of these things. <laughs> So I have a question for you. What do you uh, what do you do when uh, you get some bad news, or you feel very frustrated by the things going on around you? Uh, there's really a couple of responses that we can make. Uh, one is to complain, and the other is to lament. I don't know if you've ever heard that word lament before, but I'm going to explain that in just a little bit. I think we all know what it means to complain. Uh, complaining, especially to God, is is blaming him for the hardships that we're going through and really getting angry at God and, and mad at God or mad at others um, for our hardships and our, our difficulties. And there's lots of stories in the Bible where people complain and you can clearly see God's displeasure um, and his anger towards those who complain. But what do we do when we, we feel those frustrations if we're not able to complain, if in our heart we're just feeling so... Um, just in turmoil, so anxious. Well, there's a word for that in the Bible, and it's called lament. And lament really means to cry out to God with all the fear and frustrations that we have and um, bringing those to God. Instead of complaining to God or instead of blaming God, we go to God for his help because we know he is the only one who can help us. So there's a book in the Old Testament called Lamentations, and that book is, is written um, as a way of bringing our frustrations to God. And it was written by Jeremiah, and he wrote it when he saw his city being destroyed, being taken over by um, another country. And if there was ever a time to feel frustrated and confused, upset, that would be the time. And so Jeremiah, rightly so, writes this book called Lamentations. Let me read a couple of the things that Jeremiah says. Lamentations 1 verse 16 says, For these things I weep, my eyes flow with tears, for a comforter is far from me, one to revive my spirit. And then verse 20 says, Look, O Lord, I am in distress, my stomach churns, my heart is wrung within me. But in the midst of that lamenting and that crying out to God, uh, Jeremiah takes his burdens to the Lord. And I really love in the middle of the book, he writes these words. Lamentations 3.22 says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So today I want to remind you or encourage you, if you're, if you're being frustrated or if you feel frustrated, if you feel confused, um, it's, it's good to lament. It, it's good to take your, your frustrations and just cry out to God and say, God, please help. I don't know what to do with what I'm feeling. I don't know what to do with what I'm experiencing. Please, I need your help. And I would encourage you to do that. Instead of complaining, instead of blaming God, go to him for help. So take some time. It's a beautiful sunny day out today. Go for a walk and just pour your heart out to the Lord and express your, your feelings and your, your desires to him. And know that God is good and that our hope and our trust can be in him and that God's faithfulness to us never ends. It's time for 1024. 
All right, let's continue to find ways to encourage one another. Today, instead of drawing a name, I'm just going to pick one. So today, let's go ahead and encourage Owen Kilmer. So go ahead and send a, a text or a meme to Owen. Pray for him today, and uh, let's let's lift him up. I also want to let you know that uh, I'm going to be um, changing the format of our videos or, or changing the timing. Um, I'm going to only put out a video every other day, so my next video is going to come out on Saturday. And uh, I'm going to try to do a, an every other day type thing. And uh, hopefully um, that'll be a, a blessing to you. So enjoy your day. Take care.